Who had the most guts, glory, glam? The season finale of Design Star. Matt, the master carpenter. Everything I've done in my life led me to this. Versus Jennifer, the skilled artist. I want this more than anything I've ever wanted. Only one dream will come true, and America's votes decide. The season finale of Design Star. Sunday night at 9, 8 central on HGTV. Then, after the finale, it's the biggest network event ever. HGTV Summer Showdown. Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanek, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Friday, the very first day of August 2008, and we're heading into the weekend with these top stories. Coming to TLC on August 9th is the new original series, Hope for Your Home, airing at 8.30 p.m. With real estate expert host Kirsten Kemp Becker, the series will take on the tough financial circumstances many homeowners are facing today and give them critical resources to make home improvements to their property. At the end of each episode, the homeowners have the option to refinance and stay in their newly renovated home or sell the house and find something more affordable. Discovery Health will present the first of a four-part series called Body in Numbers on Wednesday, September 3rd at 9 p.m. The series decodes the human body's vital statistics. One million barrels of blood pumped through the average heart in a lifetime. Fastest sneeze ever recorded? 100 miles per hour. The surface area of the human lung is equal to the size of a tennis court. Wow. Body and Numbers is produced for Discovery Health by Touch Productions LTD. Now, meanwhile, over at Spike TV, they've ordered 10 episodes of the half-hour series 1,000 Ways to Die from executive producer Tom Beers. Now, this shocking series explores the many different and bizarre ways a person could die, highlighting, of course, the most outrageous true stories of deaths in the most unorthodox manners, including he uh, death by a jalapeno pepper and how a simple scrape turned flesh-eating and in this case, Fatal Virus. This series originally aired as a two-part special in May of 08 and delivered a million total viewers. Debuting on Monday at 9 p.m. on VH1 is Sean Combs' latest reality series, I Want to Work for Diddy. Looking for a new personal assistant, Combs decided the best way to find just the right person was to put out a casting call for the job. The show takes the top 13 candidates and puts them through their paces, and a panel of judges makes the eliminations each week until there is one who wins the job. Now as for Combs, he comes in close to the end when the candidates are down to just a few. And last up today, NBC has ordered a pilot of a new Dick Wolf project called Lost and Found, produced by Wolf Films. Written by Chris Levinson, the story revolves around a female homicide detective who IDs unnamed murder victims and then goes about solving their cases. And that's going to be a wrap for today and for this week. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, new classified ads, a few of the stories that did not make it into this podcast, and of course, check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Bahanek. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.